Mark, in your book, Aussie Grit, with that very moody photo of you on the front, um, you're, you're pretty open about your relationship with, with Sebastian Vettel. And, and if I describe it as tempestuous, that, that would be fairly pretty, accurate. Pretty accurate, yeah. Mm. Um, did you call him first to let him know that you were going to... Yeah. Did you? I did, yeah. And what did you say? Um, yeah, I, you know, after I retired from F1, um, there's a clause in my contract that said I couldn't write a book for another year. Um, so I had to wait. So, but we obviously didn't put a huge amount of the guts of the book together, but we had to move pretty quickly because obviously everyone, you know, forgets people pretty quick. I didn't get a lifetime award, but, you know, AP or no, you know, it's... it's <laughs> you know, it's, it's, you what, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's over it's pretty fast. It's so, you know, and, and, and look, let's be honest, like, the books cover a good barbie all. It's not going to change the world, you know. So um, we thought we'd put a book out really just for, I mean, motorsport fans, also just to tell a bit of a story about how it all come together. So, but there's obviously some juicy chapters all there in, in there in terms of my racing, specifically at the front with, with Sebastian. So I... Um, yeah, I, I, I rang him up. He was racing the Monte Carlo Grand Prix and I wasn't staying too far away. And I just said, I want to come down and, and if you've got 10 minutes, I just want to run a few things past you. And he said, yeah, no worries. So I went down and like, I think it was like an hour and a half later. Yeah, we just... Uh, How did yeah, that chat so, go? Uh, yeah, <laughs> he said that, you know, he has changed and improved as well. Like, you know, he was young at the time, you know, and we, you know, I did... Look, we all do things at in parts of our careers which we could have maybe handled or done differently and because through that you know inexperience or naivety or just the emotions and and that happens in top line sport or business whatever it is you know so Seb yeah we went through some tough periods and he said look I fully expect sex, sections of the book where you're going to probably tee off on me and I genuinely th thought you said that I fully expect sex yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow no <laughs> but I did <laughs> he definitely didn't expect sex in Monaco. <laughs> no. uh, so that Australian accent clear. Yeah, so well, it's because you yeah. stopped on yeah. section. You yeah. stopped halfway Sec through. No, 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 we didn't have sex. <laughs>